Meow meow, my itty bitty kitty litter. Cat? What are you doing? This is my channel. <laughs> They're okay. Hello guys, Nader Animator here. Some of you may or may not know this about me, but I currently work at McDonald's to help pay for my college. Even though a minimum wage paycheck barely scratches the surface of my student loan debt, despite the fact that I work there 24 hours a week. <laughs> I was going to save my McDonald's stories for after I left the job, but I feel like the story was just too important and too hilarious to save for later. I also think it's one of the only few stories that won't get me in trouble if a manager sees it. So if you guys want to see more of these McDonald's or work related stories, tell me in the comment section below and I'll make more. After I end up quitting or getting fired. <laughs> Alright, so I'm sure that especially if you work in any customer service job, you're familiar with the customers that tend to... stand out a little more than the rest. You know the ones. The ones who freak out for no reason, ask for the manager, complain about things that are literally outside of the employee's control. Yeah, the Karens. This story actually revolves around one of the most Karen-like people I've ever met. It all started one day when I was working the front window. You know, the area where we hand the food to the customers after they pay. As usual around lunchtime, we were in a bit of a rush with orders coming and going faster than I could process. Still, I made sure everyone got what they wanted and left with a smile on their face. Bye, have a nice day. As we were nearing the end of our lunch rush, an order popped up on the screen with two fresh made McChicken sandwiches. We get fresh made orders like this all the time, so I was fully prepared to tell this customer there was going to be a bit of a wait on their sandwiches. But right as I saw the customer pull up to the first window to pay, my coworker handed me a bag with the two McChickens made and ready to go. This is another very common occurrence because of how quickly McDonald's makes its fried food. You see, usually what the kitchen staff does is we take a batch of the patties that we need to make and we cook slash unthaw them by submerging them in hot grease for a couple of minutes. We then store the batch on these plastic trays in this heated cabinet so that when a new order comes, all we gotta do is assemble a sandwich and send it out. Apparently, right before we got this order, the kitchen staff had made a fresh batch of McChicken patties, so their order was able to be completed in less than a minute. So the customer pulls up to my window and swiftly snatches the bag out of my hands. Are these McChicken sandwiches fresh? Yes ma'am, they just came out of the fryer. I don't believe you. Uh... There's no way in hell you could have had these ready this quickly! Well, uh, ma'am, if you want, I can ask the kitchen staff if these are fresh or not. I mean, it, maybe they made a mistake, you know, that's pretty common during lunchtime for us. But sure enough, I asked the kitchen staff and they again told me that the fresh batch had just come up. Still, that wasn't enough to convince Karen, and she started to yell at me saying that I was giving her the worst customer service experience she had ever had. One of my coworkers came over and tried to de-escalate the situation by basically saying what I was saying, stating that the McChicken was fresh, because it was. Are you sure? Are you lying to me? No, ma'am, I am not lying, I swear. Really? Yes. Really, you swear? Yes. Swear on your mother's grave. I can't do that. Swear on your mother's grave. Swear on your life. I can't do that. I will. My life's pretty worthless. Nathan, not now. Karen then proceeded to rip the sandwich open in front of us and feel the chicken. It's soggy. Why the hell is it soggy? This cannot be fresh. No, ma'am. That's just because it just came out of the fryer. Yeah, fun fact. When we take the fried product out of the boiling oil, it's a bit soft at first. And that's another reason why we have the heated cabinet, because as the food is waiting to be used, it hardens, giving you that familiar crunch. And sometimes you don't get that crunch right away if you decide to order your food fresh. This is unbelievable! You are trying to sell me raw, uncooked meat. Let me talk to your manager. Ma'am, that won't be necessary. Let me speak to your manager. I'm going to have both of you two idiots fired. Eventually, my manager did come over and tried again to explain this whole situation, 
repeating once again what me and my coworker were both saying about the McChicken being fresh. Because it was. My manager even tried to offer Karen a couple coupons if she found anything wrong with her order. I don't need your stupid coupons. Or this damn food either. And I'm sure you'll be glad to hear that I'll never be taking my money here again. Sure, that's fine. Have a nice day! And that was the last we ever heard of Karen. Well, that's a bit of a lie. That's the last we ever heard of that Karen, but as I mentioned before, I still have a ton of crazy customer and work stories. But this video is long enough, so if you guys want to see more, make sure to tell me in the comment section below. So, what's the moral of the story? Please try to understand that customer service and food service employees, we're all people too, and we deserve to be treated with the same kindness and respect as you guys, even if we make mistakes. And to my fellow customer service employees out there, Make sure that whatever you do, you always show the same level of respect to all of your customers. Unless, of course, they are Karen. Screw you, Karen. Phew, and just like that, the video is finally over, guys. I am pretty impressed with how this turned out. Like, I spent, like, so long on this, and honestly, I wanted this to get this out by, like, the end of July, but it's August now, obviously, so, you know, things didn't go really according to plan, but I think it turned out really great. And so, uh, before I end this video, I want to thank, uh, my voice actors who, uh, played characters in this video. So, uh, first I want to thank my little sister who played, um, Karen. I think she did an amazing job adding so much uh, sass and attitude to the character and it was really awesome. Then next I want to thank Kat from the YouTube channel Catzoon who agreed to be in this video and uh, make an appearance. Guys, if you don't know who Catzoon is, like, you, you must be like living under a rock or something because Cat, they have over a million subscribers and rightfully so, their art is absolutely amazing. So uh, do yourselves a favor and go check out the YouTube channel Catzoon by heading to the link in the description down below. And uh, then of course, I also want to finally thank my real actual manager from my real McDonald's job for voicing my, uh, my for voicing my uh, McDonald's manager in this video. And so, yeah, that's right, guys. The title does not lie. I actually got my uh, manager to agree to be in this video, which means, um, Lindsay, if you're watching this, uh, you've got to vouch for me if this video gets me in trouble, okay? I can't afford to lose my job. I need money for college. That is expensive. <laughs> but anyways, guys, uh, thank you all for watching and uh, subscribing to this channel. Uh, if you enjoy this video, be sure to give this uh, big fat thumbs up down below. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, wear a mask in public. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is Nader Animator, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!